the mini micro um, I have been fortunate enough to have this little guy for for a bit now um, the um, I got it I think I don't know I don't remember if this was a prototype that I got or not but it uh, you know I think the finished product is exactly the same thing so you know it, it's no issues um, so this little guy if this thing is tiny okay so just so you you can see this is the mini micro here hopefully my autofocus will behave tonight this is the mini micro all right I'm gonna hold this up next to the 22 double D which is a pretty good size atomizer just so you guys have uh, a point of reference here and can see what I'm talking about all right that's the 22 double D with the mini micro next to it oops and I was firing it with the little button on the side there um, so yes it is wee tiny it is and I've got some stainless steel cable in there too I actually have two stainless steel cable uh, if you can see that I got it set up with a dual coil so um, it is it's very cute it is wee tiny um, so this guy comes with I got it with an extra tank some extra o-rings um, it's just got the one cap on like the um, on like the mini B it doesn't have the tight draw and the and the stacked air hole draw cap it just has the uh, the stacked air holes on this one on both sides um, but it is not super airy um, I think it, if the draw were any tighter on this it would almost be too hot because it's such a tiny chamber inside here um, I'm not sure exactly what the dimensions on if you want to if you are uh, if you want to throw those up in chat you're welcome to doc um, you know it is stainless steel this is not a titanium Addy but I want to show you what this looks like underneath the hood. So, just um, like you check out the size of the Addy deck or the height of the Addy deck there above the glass. It's actually pretty tall. And then look inside here and see just how little space there is. Um, for the vapor to kind of travel around inside the top cap. It's really, really tiny. Um, which gives you just this ridiculous warmth and flavor like I've never experienced on another atomizer. And it's still designed for dual coil like all, like all of his other uh, devices. So there you go. It's 5 eighths of an inch by 1 and 3 eighths inch. It is very, very small. Um, the, um, the Addy deck, you don't have a ton of room on here, but because of the design, it doesn't have a lip on it, even though it's so small, um, it is enough room to work. So, as you can see there, you've got your positive and your negative opposing, um, holes there and those are those holes are about uh, two millimeter a little bit bigger than two millimeter I'm not sure what the the measurement is in uh, in US and then obviously you've got your your fill and wicking hole there on the other side as well um, and one thing that doc does is he does make the positive posts um, a little taller on his devices and I'm, I'm fairly certain the reason for that is so that you have enough room to work uh, when you're making a dual coil because you have to put more wraps on the on the um, wick when you make a dual coil because you need to you know if you want a 0.8 ohm uh, coil for example you need two 1.6 ohm coils um, so you need a little bit taller uh, positive posts in order to have enough room to do that um, so you know, even though this is a very very tiny device, it does have it does have enough room to do a dual coil setup, as you can see. Um, the like all of Doc's devices, the positive post is floating, so you can adjust it. Um, you can see here it's got the um, 
the standard insulator that he uses around the positive pole. Let's see if we can get that to focus. There you go. And then that pin on the base, it's a solid shaft that goes all the way up the positive post. And you can push that down if you want the pin to come out a little bit further. So you can adjust um, if you have a device maybe that doesn't have an adjustable positive pin and you want it to sit flush, this will adjust uh, so that you can do that. Um, let's put it back on here. So, let's see. Yeah, this thing really is impressive. And it's a nice look, too. I like the, um, I like the grooves in the top cap. I think it gives it a nice look. But, the important thing here, what we want to talk about with this little guy, is the way that this thing vapes. So, um, and I, I, let me assure you that I am not saying this because Doc is in the room right now, okay? Um, if you look back at some of the recent reviews that I've done, um, like when I reviewed the Bagua, um, you will notice, and I think there was one other, you will notice that I had the Mini Micro on it. Um, there is a, the reason is I have been using this thing whenever I have the opportunity to use it because it's incredible. Um, it is, in my opinion, the best vape experience that I have ever had. Um, I think the, I know that the flavor from this device with dual coil uh, setup is better than the flavor from a Hellfire Mini. Uh, it is better than the flavor from a chalice. Um, I and I think that th those are the two most flavorful atomizers that I have used uh, personally. And this is um, and it's a noticeable increase in flavor and warmth. Uh, obviously, you know you're gonna it's gonna require more battery power. Um, and you're going to go through more juice, but, you know, I, I mean, it's worth it. The quality of the flavor and the warmth that you get from this thing is just unbelievable. And the vapor production is ridiculous, especially considering that it's not a super, super airy draw. Um, no, I know. You know, I, it, it, I'm serious. It's the, this is, it's the, it's the best, this is the best vape experience from an atomizer that I have ever had. And, and I'm, I'm going to show you the vapor production from this thing. Hold on, let me take a let me take a nice long drag on this. That's crazy. Um, it's crazy. I'm actually going to put a little more juice in here. Hold on a sec. Now, Uh, that is the Hannah mod. I actually talked about that a little bit earlier in the show on my little vape mail segment. Um, and we'll be reviewing that in the near future. It's a DNA 20 mod. But, um, yeah, this is bar none best vape I have ever gotten from a Genesis style device. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to take another vape. Hold on. Unbelievable, um, unbelievable flavor and warmth. Um, and I don't have this set up with like a stupid low ohm coil. I'm vaping it at 19 watts, um, which for those of you that use mechanical mods um, and do you know really low ohm vaping, you know that if you go down to like a you know 0 0.5, 0 0.6, whatever coil, that's going to be more watts than that. That's going to be over 20 watts when you break 0.7. Um, actually, 0.8 is usually right around 20 watts. So it's not like I'm going super, super low ohm on this, and it's just incredible, incredible flavor and vapor production from the from this device. So um, yeah, I've, I've done gushing. Um, the the only negatives with the device are that. Uh, if you are going to use this as your all-day vape, if you are going to go out of the house, you will most definitely need to bring a needle top bottle with you. Um, the juice capacity on it is very, very small. 
Um, it's like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 milliliter. Um, so, you know, really, really tiny. But, um, you know, that's going to help with wicking because uh, the longer the tank is, you know, the more distance the juice has to travel and, um, you know, it'll make it make you more likely to get dry hits if you're not doing a heavy tilt when you vape and I usually don't do a super you know I'm usually not a, a two o'clock or I, I usually go around like four or so um, so that but that's really the only negative I mean the top cap on here is really snug I mean I've got it on a you know this is a pretty heavy box mod and this thing is not going anywhere it's got a dual o-ring top cap so it's going to be nice tight fit um, but uh, you know, but but the quality of the vape that you get from this is just astounding. Um, you know, overall, um, for travel and stuff, it, it wouldn't be my go-to device just because of the juice capacity and having to carry around a, a needle top with it. But as far as quality of vape goes, it is no question in my mind it is the best Genesis-style atomizer that I personally have ever tried. Um, so yeah there you have it yeah if you do hollow wicks you might be able to get one milliliter in there um, but with the cable it's more like point point eight or so uh, and there, there you go and Doc Dave says he can pick it up pick up the congestus by the top cap it's on there not so nice and snug so I'm gonna take another vape on it before we uh, before I finish up the review but Oh yeah, so good. So yeah, there you have it. That's the Mini Micro, um, quick and dirty. Uh, it is incredible. Um, and when Doc uh, rolls out a new list, I know he said he's going to be making a bunch more of them. I highly recommend you keep an eye on Vaporwall and get on the list for this thing because it is uh, definitely um, it's definitely a must-have. Absolutely, and the price is reasonable on it too. So I'm not sure what the final price is going to be, but they're like right around 90, 100 bucks, something around there. So.